Good evening to all. Before we go to the actual session, I would like to talk about the new batches, top educators, top batches, a quick look at all these batches. 2021 SSE CGL complete batch. So SSE CGL and CHSL complete batch. SSE CHSL complete batch. SSE CPO batch. Complete batch on general studies, all SSE 2021 exams. SSE MTS complete batch. AIM SSE stenographer complete batch. Delhi Police Constable Complete Batch. There are two iconic features. One is a, a raise hand feature. The other one, ask a doubt by an academy. These two you can use once you take plus subscription. Ask a doubt feature, a new feature, and you can ask three doubts at a go. Get solutions in your preferred language. Submit your doubts to the an academy website or the learner application. These are the test series. Many of these are free. You don't have to pay. Just check the days and the time slots. Raise hand feature. You can talk to the educator directly once you take the plus subscription. Every Sunday, an academy conducts scholarship test, mega combat. And this Sunday, that is on 30th, it is a combat based on previous year's questions. You have to answer 60 questions in 60 minutes. And you can win a scholarship. You can win scholarship from a pool of one crore. It is on 30th January at 12 noon. Do remember to use my referral code Murti10. You can take in Hindi or in English. And if you use my referral code, you get 10% discount. These are the January offers. Tomorrow, today is Saturday. Tomorrow is a combat, one day to go. Do remember, very useful, important. You can win scholarship from a pool of one crore. Besides, you can win any of these. You should, you can take the test either in English or in Hindi. Your first mobile is on us. So 30th January, 12 noon, do remember. 4 lakh test takers, 25,000 winners. So you should take it. All that you have to do, answer 60 questions in 60 minutes. All set, let's crack it. Now we'll go to our session. As I said, today also I have brought, good evening, Chauhan. Today also I have brought questions based on exam topics, questions related to one word substitutes, synonyms, antonyms, idioms, all these, very useful important questions let us start with the first one please answer what is a one word substitute for impossible to describe miraculous good evening miraculous ineffable stupendous appalling Hope you are able to, is a video on? Yes. Answer is the first option. What is, no, no, I'm sorry, not the first option. Answer is the second option. What is the second option here? Ineffable, impossible to describe. You cannot describe something. For that, you have to use a word, one word substitute. Ineffable. Miraculous comes from the word miracle. Miracle, in a way, means magic. Something unexpected happens, you say miracle. And the word miraculous goes with escape. Someone escapes an accident and narrowly, then he or she may say, it was a miraculous escape. Stupendous is a positive word. Very good. Outstanding. Stupendous performance. Appalling. This is not the answer. This is not the answer. Not the answer. Appalling means shocking. Shock. Let us go to question number two. To chew the cud. 
to answer this you need biology background zoology especially to chew the cud means what you all know chew chewing gum some animals they have something and it goes inside they take it out and in the mouth they chew it for a long time partially digested stuff that is called cud they chew the cud for a long time typical example cow so what is the answer answer is a fourth option ruminate group of animals we use the word ruminate it is not vacillate vacillate means not firm to be in two minds not able to decide in a dilemma cuddle means to take someone into arms hold someone in arms in a way you can say hug take into arms to show affection cudgel means a weapon you can also say a stick used to beat someone or chase someone answer is a fourth option i don't see a lot of students responding are the questions difficult good evening kaushal an unexpected piece of good fortune windfall philanthropy benevolence turnstile what is the answer question number 3 Yes, answer is the first option. Kaushal, you got it right. Answer: windfall, an unexpected piece of good fortune, something like a jackpot, hit a jackpot, windfall. Philanthropy means to be generous, one word, magnanimous, thinking of welfare of others. Namaste. rishab and uh, benevolence also it means being good thinking of welfare of others welfare of others benevolent behavior benevolent benevolence a positive word philanthropy also a positive word generous magnanimous kind ready to donate what one has for the welfare of others turnstile is not a regular word what does it mean it is a gate that turns round mechanical gate that that turns round in a circular manner have you heard of this word any time please answer my question no one has answered anyhow signs of heredity what is the answer oh okay good signs of heredity what is the answer hereditary genetics genesis inheritance all these are very important words they have been using the same words asking questions based on the same words hereditary signs of heredity no one has answered answer is the second option i don't use hindi i use english please try to understand
passage how can i approach to save time i will answer please give me a minute let me complete this science of heredity means genetics and hereditary means what something comes from one generation to another generation grandfather father son we say it is hereditary and uh, genesis means beginning of something origin of something you can also say starting point genesis it's an important word and inheritance also means the same inherit from someone but inheritance goes with it has two different meanings one is if you, if there's a particular quality in a family we say it is hereditary and uh, son has a particular quality that is the father also has the same quality then we say he has inherited that property from his father but inheritance also goes with uh, property when you get property from someone that is known as inheritance and here you have to think of the word heir h e silent means what a person who inherits property from someone and also it should be you have to recollect ancestral property someone inherits ancestral property ha ah, that is good chatterji good i appreciate genetics very good so these words you have to and when it comes to ancestors we also use a word four fathers see here what i try to do question answer it is sheer waste of time but i try to do value addition based on the question based on the options i give more words i tell related information then you get benefited in the real sense coming to this question how to approach the passage usually passage you have to read at the fag end of the session and you have to read quickly to get an idea what it is about and also any passage usually questions are based on first explicit information explicit info and implicit info info is a short form of information don't try to answer questions based on implicit implied not mentioned try to answer questions based on explicit means when you read the passage the key words in the question you take the key words in the question look for those words in the passage then you find the answer implicit if you are really good at reading you are good at english then you answer and sometimes what happens implicit you may have to spend a lot of time some questions are traps trap so avoid those questions if you spend time also you may not get the answer try to avoid those and always try to answer explicit questions based on explicit information this is what i can say occurring at night you can consider nightly dark nocturnal neurotic based on neurons nervous system not relevant here but here these are all simple words not exact word occurring at night for that we have to use a word nocturnal nocturnal actually means active in the night active in the night and what is opposite active during the day you have to know that word as well diurnal diurnal means what active in the day diurnal nocturnal my pleasure who is this uh, boy beast boy nocturnal active in the night owl one example owl is active in the night it is nocturnal and man is diurnal we are all active during the day here it is related to being active not being active and in a way sleep you have to recollect two words one is hibernation means winter sleep the other one estivation 
means summer sleep. Not for one day, one night, a week, a few months, a few days. Some animals sleep during winter, usually, rarely summer. And one example is a bear. Another example, squirrel. Squirrels also sleep during winter. And during that stage, no activity. When there is no activity, we use the word dormant. Dormant means inactive. All these words are very important. Nocturnal, diurnal, hibernation, estivation, dormancy. All go with effective English. Question um, now we have got uh, we have done with one word substitutes one set five questions based on idioms. He has too many irons in the fire. To have too many irons in the fire, that is the idiomatic expression. You have to answer. Choose one of the options. Today, actually, there is an exam, SSC CGL Tier 2. Yes, answer is a first option. Very good. Engaged in too many enterprises at the same time. Not several problems, not many ideas in his head, not a fire burning constantly in his house. Not relevant here. This is not easy. You've got to be a little careful. The Earl of Leicester threw down the glove. It is every word matters when it comes to idioms and one word substitutes. You have to read very carefully to answer these questions. What is the answer? Question number two. How come today the response has been slow? Kaushir, are you there? Usually you respond within no time. Very good, Beast Boy. Answer is uh, not the first one. Many students may think the first one. It is not the first one. It is the fourth one. Give a challenge. Throw a towel. Then you, you can say accept defeat. But here, throw down the glove, meaning changes. Give a challenge. Answer is the fourth option. And Beast Boy has got it right. Question number three, I joined college late and found it difficult to catch up with. This is more of a phrasal verb they have given under idioms, catch up with other students. So what does it mean? Please mention the question number. It is not compete with Answer is a second one, to come to their level, to meet their level, to overtake them, no, to hold them and stop, no. Answer is a second option. They have made many changes in the policy, but how many of these changes are going to affect the man in the street? This is an idiomatic expression. Please mention the question number and option number. The man in the street means what? How come, Shivam, you are not responding? Are you there? Man in the street. Very good, beast boy. Homeless man, not correct. The man who works on the street, not correct. The man who repairs roads, not at all. Answer is a second option. Second option, the ordinary man, man in the street means a common man. Ordinary man or common man. The students wanted a holiday, but the principal put his foot down. Excuse me, put your foot down, means what? And said no. Easy to make out based on the context. Question number five. 
yes answer is the first option asserted his authority not kicked them not stepped out not came downstairs put your foot down means to be firm to assert your authority we have done with idioms first set now let us go to please look at this five questions based on synonyms what is the synonym of tranquil no one has answered answer d very good tranquil means calm peaceful placid quiet all these words you have to think of tremendous means a lot tremendous improvement a lot of improvement dynamic means active dynamic person active person treacherous means betray not loyal you can also think of everyday expression backstab peaceful is the answer calm peaceful placid quiet tranquil another word you have to think of serene calm and quiet question number 2 sordid sore unpleasant splendid dissatisfied what is the answer no one has answered sordid means not tidy tidy means neat something that is not tidy answer unpleasant not sore not splendid not dissatisfied sore you have to think of three words sore sore people mispronounce this is it is not sore it is sour so here sore means painful sore mouth sore throat sore s o a r means fly high in the sky sour means acidic taste not sour sour and uh, splendid means something very good splendid performance S dissatisfied a simple word answer is unpleasant not tidy not neat nefarious an important word what is the answer usually it takes a word nefarious activities very good beast boy wicked we also use the word nefarious to convey the idea illegal something that is not legal nefarious activities means illegal activities wicked activities docile means submissive easy to tame tame means control natural a simple word neurotic already we have got boisterous what does it mean
today the lag time is more than 20 seconds i don't see your responses yes nothing to do with boys not boyish not huge not sound noisy boisterous entry noisy entry a typical combination please go to the last question related to synonyms insensitive sensitive opposite insensitive here what is opposite of insensitive no response yes not repulsive repulsive means you don't feel like looking at you don't feel like doing it there's another word disgusting revolting revolt go against the government cunning a simple word answer is callous callous you should also think of the word stony Another word, apathetic. No emotions, no uh, feelings when others are suffering, not sensitive. Bravery. Bravery is a noun. And brave. Adjective. A brave boy, a brave girl bravery noun use your grammar knowledge and try to answer today is slow very slow yes savagery is not correct savage means animal like we also say cruel we also say uncivilized Here, cowardly is an adverb. Both mean the same. Cowardize is a noun. Here it is a noun. So we have to choose a noun form, not the adverb form. Heroism, not the answer. Answer is a second option. Because it's a noun. Yes. Refully. Antonym. Rarefully means what? First you have to know that, then you will be able to answer. They have given the synonym, regretfully. What is opposite? You regret doing something, you feel bad, and what is opposite? No, antonym. You have to choose the antonym. Beast boy. Here, question number one, antonyms. Bravery, opposite, cowardice. Refully, opposite, you have to choose. Regretfully is a synonym. This is a synonym. They want the opposite. Huh? Yes. Cheerfully is the answer. Not thoughtfully, not hopefully. Gloomy. Gloomy has many meanings. You have to know all the meanings. Then you can answer. Gloomy, one meaning sad. Another, not bright. Another, dull. Now you try to answer. Low spirits also you can say. No. Here, not bright. Radiant means bright. Not bright. What is opposite bright? Gloomy, not bright. Radiant, bright. Answer is the first option. This one has gone wrong, beast boy. So far, you have done so well. But uh, the first time, 
for the first time you have got it wrong fragrant fragrance related to smell melodies related to songs singing voice and illusory related to imagination what is the answer here answer is the first option a radiant a radiant has two different meanings one meaning emit emit radiation emitting waves another meaning bright and gloomy one meaning not bright not bright opposite bright i hope you got it blessing no no response blessing is something positive you want elders they give their blessings means what they want someone to be someone to have success do well opposite not dull not hurt not harsh curse curse means what someone wants someone else to be in a bad situation blessing positive curse negative and harsh means uh, rough another meaning of harsh behavior you can also say a rude famous the last word related to antonyms what is opposite of famous famous means what known to many people famous person but famous could be positive negative positive we use a word popular negative we use a word notorious here famous known to many people answer is a first option one meaning not known to many people obscure also means vague not clear here we consider the first one and obscure not known to many people famous known to many people eminent means uh, successful renowned eminent scientist lenient means not strict strict or stringent opposite lenient lenient teacher means the teacher is not very strict fabulous means wonderful fabulous idea wonderful idea an involuntary action under stimulus involuntary when it comes to one word substitutes when it comes to idioms you have to read meticulously every word you have to consider every word is important and one word is enough for you to get the answer the clue voluntary means you think and you do here involuntary without thinking just like that if something falls i say like this next second what is the word ha huh? yes very good beast boy answer is reflex not complex not reflection not response circular building or hall with a dome here the key clue the word circular what is the answer edifies means huge or imposing 
building huge building or imposing building not the answer palace you all know the place where kings and queens live answer is a third option and spire is not the answer but spire means a building that has a tapering top the top portion tapers then we use the word spire it goes more with uh, european architecture churches other buildings this is this is an important question arrangement in order of occurrence based on time that is a clue for you arrangement of arrangement in order of occurrence based on time based on time yes answer chronological chronology chrono you have to recollect means what related to time based on that you have words like chronological chronometer chronology chronicles it is not timely chronic goes with uh, disease means lasting for a long time lasting for a long time and uh, archives not the answer here i would like to give a few important words first chronicles or annals meaning a record recording events on the basis of oh excuse me on the basis of time on the basis of time you make a note of the events you can use two words chronicles annals but you make a note of events not based on the time recording events not based on time what is the word archives archives the last word archives has two different meanings one is recording events but not based on the time second meaning a public place public place where government records are kept for access that is known as a place where documents are stored modern version person who insists on adherence sticking to formal rules or literary meaning that is a clue for you what is the answer this is not an easy one scholar means a learned person learned man not the answer pedant means a perfectionist not the answer pedagogue means a teacher not the answer answer is a fourth option no beast boy not the second one answer is a literalist pedant means a person who is a perfectionist who looks at things meticulously who wants everything to be perfect pedant but here he talks talks about someone who wants rules and literary meaning to be followed to be conveyed instrument to measure atmospheric pressure i am sure you can answer this should not be a problem t 
Today, many of my regular students have not, haven't turned up. Reason could be Saturday. There is also an exam, SSC CGL Tier 2. Yes, answer is barometer. Metronome goes with uh, beat. It goes with uh, musicians, music. And uh, compass, you know, it talks about north, south, west, east. Shows the directions. Pedometer, distance measured based on the number of footsteps. Based on the number of footsteps, they measure the distance. Pedometer, not correct. Answer is a fourth option. Now we have second set of idioms. I have a bone to pick with you. What is the idiom here? To have a bone to pick with someone. So what does it mean? I have a bone to pick with you in this matter. No selfish motive we use to have an axe to grind. This means selfish motive or ulterior motive, not the answer. Selfless motive, not the answer. Desire, not the answer. I have a bone to pick with you means I'm very angry or annoyed because I'm not happy with what you have done. That's what it means. Exactly, yes, beast boy. You have corrected. Angry is the right one. Perfect. Very good. I trust you will bear with me a few minutes more. This is also more a phrasal verb than an idiom. Usually we say, please bear with me. Please. Bear with me, a standard expression. So what does it mean, please bear with me? It is not support, it is not, the, it is not carry the burden for, it is not be in control, it is have patience, exactly, very good. You are doing well, beast boy. I'm really happy to see your responses. Just one or two wrong, but otherwise consistently. You have been doing well. When, the, when they were surrounded from all sides, the decoits laid down their arms. This you have to be careful. There are two options. Both mean the same, but you have to consider the one that goes with usage. Uh, yes, Sandy, you're right. Have patience is correct. Please go to the next one. Lay down, lay down their arms. Here, literally, it means put their arms on the ground. But idiomatic expression as an idiom, as an idiom, it does not mean that. It means what surrendered exactly. Perfect. Literal meaning to put arms on the ground but it has a it has an idiomatic connotation as an idiom it means to surrender surrendered helena was over head and ears in love with demetrius easy to guess should not be a problem over head and ears in love with someone You can make out from the context, that should not be a problem. It is not carefully, answer is the second option, completely, yes. Not brilliantly, not cautiously. Cautious means careful.
the cashier wiped the nose here what is the idiomatic expression wipe the nose of his employer by presenting false bills wipe the nose means what again you can make out based on the context if you understand the context you can guess easily wipe the nose of someone it is not abused it is not uh, slapped it is not doomed answer is a second option cheated exactly doomed to death have you heard of that expression and also one more doomsday doomed to death means doomed to die destined destined to die doomed to die doomed to death destined to die we have the second set of synonyms positive positive means what yes sandy you got it right beast boy you got it right cheated now synonyms positive means what here lack of something lack of something you should also think of the word dearth yes these are opposite surplus excess shortage lack of dearth shortage scarcity all mean the same and there's one word over here mean mean mentality have you heard of this any time mean behavior means selfish narrow minded mean mentality every day english we use that tedious first you have to know the meaning of the word then it becomes easy usually it goes with work job tedious work tedious job means what and it means actually tiresome tiresome you can also think of the word monotonous repetitive all these words devious means to deviate from a particular path not correct answer in a way dull dull you can also think of boring monotonous but actually tedious work means tiresome and boring distinct means it stands out derogatory important word insulting derogatory statement derogatory remark means insulting someone imaginary fabulous fictitious fictitious factitious fallacious what is the answer imagination imagine we use fiction when we talk about english novels we have two types fiction non fiction fiction means what imagination hero hero in all that based on that answer the second option from fiction you get fictitious fabulous means wonderful already i have given the meaning factitious means based on facts not correct fallacious means faulty reasoning or faulty argument that is not the answer go to the next one dearth already have given the word dearth means what easy to answer this one
dearth means shortage shortage we also use the word scarcity shortage of something lack of something dearth of something paucity of something scarcity same meaning it is not familiar familiarity not closeness not relation closeness is one word you have to recollect proximity proximity means closeness ah no problem i was uh, in fact i asked a question chauhan are you there there was no response i thought perhaps some technical problem no problem but these questions are very important very useful after the session please make a note of all these important words very useful in the long run liability has two different meanings but here synonym what is answer liability liability means what no 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 synonym liability means debt this has gone wrong surprising no problem it happens sometimes not debit not credit not asset debt usually we use there's one expression what is it financial liabilities have you heard of this expression financial liabilities but liability has liability has another meaning one is uh, responsibility or burden someone depends on you then he you say it is an ob there is an obligation then you say he has he has become a liability means you have to bear him there is no choice grotesque here let me caution opposite grotesque antonym first you have to know the meaning of the word grotesque means what weird strange abnormal aberrant aberration what is the answer not exactly grotesque means something different weird strange abnormal aberrant and uh, not normal based on that opposite not same meaning natural yes beast boy got it right it is actually grotesque means odd different weird that is a synonym whimsical also not the answer sinful not the answer whimsical means based on emotions spontaneous instinctive not based on reason here you have to recollect one idiomatic expression whims and fancies have you heard of this any time he always takes decisions based on his whims and fancies means based on his emotions or impulsive behavior impulsive behavior spontaneous not based on reasoning not based on rationality and you all know the word sin a lot of sins where do you go hell you don't go to heaven you go to hell if at all there is one select the antonym of outlandish outlandish and grotesque synonyms these two are synonyms they want the opposite common yes perfect answer is common already have got the meaning grotesque and outlandish they mean the same synonyms based on that it is uh, 
strange, weird, abnormal, aberration, all these. What is opposite common? Droll means amuse someone in a strange way. You try to amuse someone, but it is not the normal way, strange. Then we use droll. Kinky is not the answer. The word kinky goes with the hair. If you take hair, how do you describe? Wavy, straight, curly, kinky. Kinky means uh, too curly. And whose hair is too curly? Example, Africans. Africans, the hair is too curly. Then we say kinky hair. And grotesque, outlandish, one and the same. We are still with antonyms. Orderly, unclear, valueless, chaotic, incomplete. You have to choose opposite word. Orderly, everything is in order. You have to recollect two idioms. Apple pie order. Speak and span. Everything is speak and span. Everything is in apple pie order. But your opposite, unclear, valueless, incomplete, no. Chaotic, chaos, means confusion. When things are not in order, it is complete confusion based on that chaotic, chaos. Invincible, an important word, means very strong, cannot be defeated. You can also use the word unassailable, but uh, what is the opposite? This is a positive word. You have to choose a negative word. Yes. It is not small, it is not invisible, it is not reachable. Vulnerable means to be in a, a weak situation. And because of that, people may exploit you, they may trouble you. We also use for vulnerable two words. One is in danger, to be in danger and danger. We also use the word geopardy. These two words are also very important. Divulge. First you have to know the meaning of divulge. Divulge means what? Disclose. Reveal. Unmask. Make public what is opposite oppress means control reveal synonym disclose diverge one and the same disguise conceal subtle difference disguise also hiding but here to hide your identity you try to hide your identity that is disguise but only hiding, conceal means what? Hide. Answer is the first option, not the second one. Conceal, you hide. Opposite, reveal, disclose, divulge. Now we have the another set of one word substitutes. That which cannot be easily read. Careful with every word. Cannot be easily read. What is the answer? Yes, answer is the first option. Very good. Illegible. No, no, illegible. It goes with uh, legible handwriting. Illegible handwriting, usually doctor's prescription, illegible. 
Comprehension means understanding. Comprehend, understand. Incomprehensible cannot understand. But this goes more with uh, reading. Whereas unintelligible, that is also cannot understand. It goes more with speaking. Someone says something based on the accent you cannot understand. Then you have to say his speech is unintelligible. Means you can't make out. When you read, you don't understand. It is not comprehensible. And unreadable, no. Illegible is the right word. One who finds nothing good in anything. They think everything is bad. Finds nothing good in anything. What is the answer? Someone who doubts everything, we use the word skeptic. But here, cynic is the answer. Yes, beast boy, you got it right. Cynic. Critic analyzes and says what is good, what is bad. Satirist, it comes from satire. Means humor, but in a sarcastic way. Sarcastic humor. And slanderer to defame someone, spoil the name of someone publicly. We use the word slanderer, defame, malign. Also, you can say spoil the name of someone. A person who pretends to be what he is not. Pretend means what? Act. Pretends to be what he is not. Try to take elimination approach. Then the choice comes down. It cannot be explorer. It cannot be diviner. You have to choose between the second and the third. Answer is imposter. Someone is not a cop. He goes to some place as a cop. Then we say imposter. Important word. And prompting. Prompt has two meanings. One quick, we say prompt reply, means what quick reply. Another meaning, prompt means help with the dialogue. This meaning goes with the plays, dramas. Have you heard of this any time? A play or a drama, sometimes an actor forgets the dialogue. From behind the screen, someone tells a dialogue that is known as prompting. No prompting, please, we say. In a threatening manner. Ominous means something bad you feel something bad may happen usually it goes with uh, future you feel something may happen ominous sprightly means uh, active and it goes with uh, old man an old man is active we use terrible means bad terribly adverb answer is the third option ghastly Yes, that is the right word. Please go to one who eats human flesh. Not it does not, it's not restricted to one particular species. One snake eats another snake. That is known as cannibalism. The same way one man eats. No, uh, Saturdays, in the past I would take every Saturday. I have a tight schedule and a bad throat, health issues. Saturday, usually Sundays I don't take. I take on Saturdays, but this morning 
I could not answer cannibalism cannibal man eater usually goes with a tiger man eater beast wild animal beast animal nature animal wild animal savage animal like uncivilized cruel all these words We have another set of idioms. Please answer carefully. Try to get all correct. What is this? He spoke well, though it was his maiden speech. What is the meaning of maiden speech? Maiden century. Cricket lovers know that word. Means what? First speech, obviously. It is not long, it is not brief, it is not emotional. Made in century, first century. Don't run down your friends in public. Run down. Actually, it's a phrasal verb they have given under idioms. But you can make out from the context, you can answer. Unmarried lady. Okay, Pavani, new word. Good. Run down your friends in public. You can make out based on the context. Fight with. No. <coughs> Criticize. Fight with. Follow. Make a mention of. Don't run down your friends in public means don't criticize. It has a negative connotation. Don't criticize your friends in public. Then you are not their friend. Very simple. The students were advised to pour over the lessons thoroughly. Pour over means what? Easy to answer based on the context. The students were advised, passive voice, past tense, to pour over the lessons thoroughly. Go through. Yes, not go down, not go up, not go up. Go through the lessons thoroughly. The two famous writers crossed the swords with each other on every issue. Crosswords, be at loggerheads, not to see eye to eye. What is the answer? Disagreed, fought physically, no. Cross the road on meeting, ridiculous. Took different routes, no. Disagreed, yes. The traffic came to a standstill, come to a standstill is the idiom. After the heavy downpour, means rain, heavy rain, of rain. Easy to answer based on contextual awareness. One reading, you should be able to answer. Come to a standstill means what? Something has come to a standstill. Complete halt, that's right. Other options not relevant. We have another set of synonyms. Please look at the heading synonyms. Irresolute. A resolute means what? Firm. Irresolute, not firm. So you have to choose opposite word. No one has answered. Yes, resolute, firm, irresolute, not firm. Not firm, we also say undecided, in two minds, in a dilemma. Not angry, not ignorant, not firm. Frugal, an important word they have given many a time. Economical, delicate, splendid, hungry. 
frugal we also use the word thrifty yes very good frugal means thrifty both mean economical someone who spends money after thinking twice or thrice whether to spend or not he decides then he spends economical thrifty frugal delicate splendid hungry no and what is opposite of all, all these words opposite words you have to recollect extravagant lavish spendthrift these are opposite words quash it's a legal term we are with synonyms so do remember quash a legal term question number 3 what is the answer quash the order quash uh, quash the amendment reject very good it is not question it is not pledge it is not slash pledge means you take your stuff give it to someone and you take money based on that pledging usually goes with one meaning pledging gold pledge also means to promise solemn promise and slash one of the meanings cut you make a cut slash with a blade or sharp thing synonym of you can pronounce this as genre or genre genre or genre it goes with film industry music industry literature paintings photography so what is the meaning of genre or genre category very good not celebrity not common man not present answer category a particular category of a particular field usually film industry music industry paintings photography dance also question number 5 what is the synonym of abundant easy to answer plentiful abundance means what plethora a lot of something plentiful not sufficient not significant not vibrant significant means important vibrant means lively full of energy now we have five questions based on antonyms first you have to know the meaning ample means what plenty what is opposite of plenty here you have to choose opposite opposite word antonyms for that you have to know the meaning of the given word first yes answer is meager no ample is a positive word you have to choose a negative word sufficient is a positive word it cannot be the answer tasty not relevant quantitative not relevant meager means a little ample means a lot answer is a first option diminish first you have to know the meaning diminish means what decrease come down in number diminishing standards means standards are coming down they want the opposite yes decrease opposite increase not improve not introduce not decrease decrease is a synonym opposite increase comply takes a preposition with already have learned it goes with uh, rules comply with rules follow the rules adhere to the rules stick to the rules you can use all these here you follow you accept and uh, you can also use the word confirm synonym 
compete not relevant complain not relevant you don't accept you don't follow you challenge that means you don't comply with answer is the first option very good treacherous it's a negative word treacherous means not loyal or not faithful i have already given the words like betray backstab so what is opposite tact means knack skill knack violent answer is the third option faithful not faithful not loyal opposite faithful treacherous an important word select the antonym of pejorative pejorative derisive synonyms first you have to know the meaning it means what to show contempt contempt or disapproval you don't accept something you show contempt you disapprove something that is a meaning what is opposite you need a positive word a rude a negative word cheeky a negative word both mean not polite based on that and this is a synonym answer is a second option complimentary yes very good the last five questions try to answer very carefully good evening who is this about to wind up the session last five questions what is the correct spelling of voluminous these are quite challenging it is not e it should be i so it is not correct voluptuous it should be t u o u s and it is not correct wrong wrong vociferous c i vociferous means vocally very strong and loud virtue good quality and vice one of the meanings bad quality from the word virtue you get virtuous this spelling is correct all other words are misspelt voluminous wrong spelling voluptuous wrong spelling vociferous wrong spelling correctly spelt ha huh? this should have been correctly spelt word virtuous that's right who is that pavani yes you're right this is a bit difficult what is the spelling of liaison l i a i s o n this is wrong benign this is also wrong b e n i g n liaison means the communication between a particular company and the government liaisoning officer he communicates he is a connecting link between the company and organization and the government benign means kind good malignant negative and here opposite benign aqueous nothing wrong but this is again not correct what is the correct spelling b o v i n e bovine bovine means related to cattle and o v i n e o vine related to sheep c a n i n e canine related to dog you have to know all these yes third option first one is wrong second one is wrong third one is wrong a fourth one is wrong third one is correct please uh, look at uh, those words not easy please look at them very carefully
what is the answer have you answered what is the correct spelling of the first word proliferate means what multiply multiply rapidly and this is wrong second one propitiate sent this is correct what does it mean appease someone usually god appease mollify these are the meanings appropriate what is the correct spelling appropriate double p and appreciate also double p what is the answer this is wrong this is wrong answer is the second option fragrance fragrant is it correct no fragrant fragment means a small piece m e n t fragment fragrant goes with smell fragrance nice fragrance and florescent f l o u r e s c e n t f l o u r e florescent and uh, that is also wrong flamboyant is correct flamboyancy means show off yes please go to the next one read very carefully what is the spelling of mandatory mandatory means what compulsory circulatory t o r y and regulatory t o r y this is wrong this is wrong this is wrong what is the answer third option is correct temporary no error that's all for today thanks for being with me till 523 hope you guys have got enriched and all these are very important quite often they touch the same words options so many words so many options and uh, some words are not easy try to spend some time and try to remember only then you will be able to remember if you don't try to revise you don't try to do something about consolidating practically not possible to remember difficult words you have to revise regularly thank you very much